Hello, and welcome to our Discovery Lab online videos. My name is Bethany with the Outreach Division here at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. And today we're going to look at the Adelie penguin. Let's get started. So what we have here is the Adelie penguin. It's a bird and it's a carnivore, so that means that it eats meat and other animals. Um, when you see a group of them, they are called a colony and they can live between 11 and 20 years. In length, they're about uh, 27 and a half inches, and they can weigh between 8 and 12 pounds. Their conservation status is near threatened, but their population is increasing, so that's, that's great. Um, they live in the Antarctic and on surrounding islands, so that means that they don't live near polar bears because polar bears live in the Arctic. Uh, they are excellent swimmers like a lot of penguin species. They are, um, their body is made to torpedo or pierce through the water so that they can shoot through and uh, gather food or run away from their predators. Um, their wings are modified to help them propel through water and their feathers are, are there to help them uh, pierce through the water so they don't have any resistance. They're waterproof so it allows them to kind of shake off excess water so they stay warm in their climate. Um, and they are the smallest penguin in the Antarctic. But don't be fooled by their size or their cuteness. They're actually a very aggressive species and they are known to take on predators such as seals and seabirds and even visiting researchers. There are videos you can find of little Adelie penguins uh, getting into their predators space and slapping them with their fins. So they're very interesting little birds. Um, they feed on small aquatic creatures such as krill, fish, and even squid, and they can dive as deep as 575 feet. But usually they stay in the shallower waters because their food uh, is in those shallower areas. And uh, to gather food, they'll even travel uh, almost 200 miles to round trip together to get a meal. Um, when they're breeding, they usually breed in October and colonies will gather on the rocky Antarctic coastline uh, and they'll gather in thousands. They will build a nest on the ground and line them with little stones to help keep the egg in place. Um, and the eggs will hatch in December. So both female and male are actually there to rear their young. They help each other and take turns to go get food um, and, and that kind of thing. Um, and they, the, the chicks will be looked after for three weeks. And after three weeks, they can be left alone. Um, and after nine weeks, the um, chicks will get their adult feathers, and then they can start hunting on their own. And that's just a little bit about the Adelie penguin. Thank you so much for joining us today to learn all about the Adelie penguin. We hope to see you soon at the Ford Museum of Science and History.